Hi, I'm Barbara. Welcome to my Kentucky native garden. It's July 6th and we have had a brutally hot and dry summer here in South Central Kentucky. But I do have some new flowers blooming since I last saw you three weeks ago and I want to show them to you. This is meadow phlox and when the phlox blooms, the butterflies come. The butterflies come for the nectar. I also see hummingbirds on this flower and the bees come for the pollen. The phlox likes full sun or part sun, but because it's under this redbud tree that has grown since I planted the phlox here, it gets probably more shade than it should. It is susceptible to powdery mildew and you can see it does have a little bit of powdery mildew on it now. I don't do anything about that because it doesn't really hurt the plant. It's not real pretty, but it doesn't hurt the flower at all. Meadow phlox will spread. I started with, I think, three plants here, and now you can see it has spread by seed here, and it's all the way back there. So it's a beautiful plant to have in your garden, especially if you like butterflies and hummingbirds. This is Black-Eyed Susan. Black-Eyed Susan likes lots of sun. It doesn't like to be wet, but it does need moisture because it has fibrous roots that are close to the ground. We haven't had any rain here uh, for about a month. We got about a quarter of an inch over this last weekend. I don't usually water my native plants because they don't normally need watering, but I did water these and some of the others in this area because they do have shallow roots and a month without water is a long time. So they look pretty good right now. Black-eyed Susans will attract butterflies and bees, and the birds eat the seeds in the wintertime if you leave them on. They will also spread quite a lot. I planted a few of these in here, and you can see I have a whole plot of them now. Uh, they can grow taller than this, um, but it looks like these are going to remain short this year. This is Rattlesnake Master. It likes full sun and it does like some moisture, but it doesn't like to be wet. The butterflies like this plant and it is a host plant. Um, it's in the carrot family, so the swallowtail butterflies like this and they also like the nectar and there's pollen on it for the bees. This is sweet Joe Pie Weed. It grows wild here in my yard and it likes light shade you can see it's growing under these trees here. It does provide nectar for the, um, the butterflies and pollen for the bees. And it's also a host plant for moths. If you have a shady spot in your garden that's a little moist, this hairy alum root might be just the plant for you. The bees and other small pollinators love this plant. Thanks for visiting my Kentucky Native Garden. I'll see you again soon. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press that like button if you enjoyed what you saw. Mm -hmm.